Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. There's a post on Reddit Ask Math which got my attention. Who is right, me or my teacher? Here's the problem. f of x is equal to 9 minus square root of x. g of x is equal to 4x squared. Find values of x where f of g of x is less than 0. The student came up with the answer that x is less than minus 4.5 and x is greater than 4.5, but the teacher says the answer is just x is greater than 4.5. What's the right answer? So let's first try to understand this question and we will work through it step by step. So here's the setup of the question. We will first focus on f of g of x. This is known as a composition of functions because we're composing one function with another. It's also written in the notation f circle g in brackets of x, or it might just be written as f circle g. So what that means is we take one function and then we apply another. So here's a nice visual way to understand it. Imagine we have a function g which is turning apples into lemons. So we have apples as the input and lemons as the output. Imagine we have another function f that is taking an input of lemons and having an output of oranges. What would happen if we run the two functions together? We first do g and then we do f. This is exactly what f of g is. We start out with apples, they get turned to lemons, and then those lemons get turned into oranges. So in this case, we want to apply the function g first. So g of x is equal to 4x squared. So we change the g of x to be 4x squared. So now we have f of 4x squared. So if 4x squared is the input, wherever we see x when f of x, we want to replace that with 4x squared. So this will work out to be 9 minus the square root of the quantity 4x squared. Now this is a little tricky part to evaluate. Many students get confused. So if we have the square root of x, this will always be a non-negative value for a real number x. And there's also a property that if we have the square root of x squared, this will be equal to the absolute value of x. So 4x squared is equal to the square of 2x, and this will simplify to be the absolute value of 2x. So f of g of x is equal to 9 minus the absolute value of 2x. We just need to figure out where this is less than zero. Now we have an absolute value, so it's best to work in cases. The absolute value function is a piecewise defined function. So in one case, let's imagine this entire quantity 2x is greater than or equal to zero. In that case, we can get rid of the absolute value sign and we just have nine minus 2x is less than zero. Let's add 2x to both sides and then divide by two, so we get that x is greater than 4.5. Now let's suppose that 2x is less than 0. So when we have the absolute value of 2x, we're going to add the opposite of 2x. So here we have 9 minus the opposite of 2x needs to be less than 0. The opposite of a negative will be a positive. So 9 plus 2x is less than 0. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation and then divide by 2 to get that x is less than 4.5. So the student is definitely correct that the answer is x is greater than 4.5 or x is less than negative 4.5. So in this case, I would say the teacher made a mistake and perhaps being someone who's taught math before, I'm a bit more forgiving if teachers make mistakes. Teachers are humans too. Anyone can make a mistake but I would definitively say that the student's answer was in fact correct. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.